What's up guys, Garrett here from Code the Web, and I'd like to welcome you guys all to the official Code the Web PHP series. So in this video, this is going to be the introduction video, we're not really going to be getting too much into the code, but we're just going to be setting up what we need to talk about to get into the later stuff, which of course will be PHP. So sit back, relax, uh, mess around with whatever I show you in this series, and I would love to hear what you guys can create and whatever uh, when we're all done here. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is PHP? Um, so to answer that question, which is probably a really, really important question, uh, PHP differs from HTML and CSS and JavaScript and things like that, whereas that PHP is a server-side language. And what does that mean exactly? So that means that um, so HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, what happens is they are all compiled within the browser. The, brow the browser is kind of a compiler that takes all the code and it structures it and it, it transforms it into what you see on a web page, which is what humans can read. Naturally, uh, we can't really read uh, the code unless we actually, you know, uh, learn how to do it. But not everyone has time for that. Not everyone should have to do that because that's why we're here, web developers and web designers. So the browser takes... Uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and some other languages, and it compiles it within the browser once the paid already, page already loads, loads on the user's computer. Now, PHP is a little bit different. PHP, instead of being loaded in the browser and compiled within the browser on the client side, now the client is the user, the person that's looking at your website, PHP instead is compiled at the server, so before it even gets to the client's computer or to the web browser of your user. So if you go and look at a, at a website like Facebook, now Facebook uses PHP and there's a lot of it that they use for such a large and um, complex website. But if you go and look at the source code for P, uh, Facebook, you won't actually see any PHP. And the reason is because it's been compiled already on the server and then all that information or what all that information really translates to or means in terms of a web page is sent to the user or to the, um, to the client's computer. And that's when you see um, all of the content on that website. So that is a huge difference. Um, that, you know, is a big difference between PHP and other languages. Now, what is PHP for? Um, PHP is specifically uh, can do a lot of really cool stuff, uh, just like JavaScript can do a lot of stuff. But the reason that PHP is so big and a lot of people use it is because it's really, really good for talking to servers and databases. And when you have, um, for example, a blog or like WordPress or Facebook, anything that uses uh, information that um, about users or anything that is interactive with users where they can keep coming back time after time and it saves all their information and everything, uh, that you need a database for because you save, you yeah, you store all that information inside the database. So PHP is really, really good for talking to databases and that's why PHP is used so often is because it's really good for doing just that. Now, I would like to show you guys the first example of actual PHP code. And um, what I want to show you guys here is that JavaScript, oftentimes in JavaScript, you know, you definitely can see JavaScript inside of a PHP, uh, inside of an HTML document. But a lot of times you'll see JavaScript in its own separate files, which you'll know that they're JavaScript because they will be Instead of like .html, they will be .js or something like that. PHP, on the other hand, can be written next to HTML. So say we have our nav bar here, right? And we're not going to do any styling or anything like that or you know anything serious. We're just going to set up a navigation bar. And this link is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to have a class. And um, it's just going to say home. And then say we have... Um, four of them. This one can be uh, about contact and then say, I don't know, products. And we probably wouldn't have them in that order if we we're if this was a serious website, but whatever. So now if we refresh the page, uh, you can see that we have home about contact and products. Now, like I said, PHP can be written inside of this document here. So how do we do that though? Uh, we can't just start writing stuff like that because we need to tell the browser um, or the server really somehow that the code 
is going to be a different language. It's going to be PHP. So how do we do that? We're going to go um, the less than question mark PHP and then question mark greater than and everything within those two signs is going to be PHP. So if we want to make, let's say, write something, we're going to write uh, hello world. And now if we go here, if we go there, we're going to see that right here we have hello world, but I didn't use any HTML to do that. But now we have HTML, or we have this being displayed. And if we look at the code here, uh, we will see that we have this, this bit right here, which is HTML, this navigation thing right here. And then right underneath that is the hello world. And that's what we just wrote right there. So as you can see, we don't need to use HTML and it, it just kind of translates over it executes on the on the server and we actually didn't see the PHP there, which was this line of code right here. And we'll go into this in another video of what that exactly means and what everything that's going on there. But for this video, I just want to keep it simple and just show you guys how exactly PHP works and what it is. The next thing I want to talk about and this is the last thing for this video is the difference between the file types for HTML and PHP, just like I said that, you know, JavaScript will be .js, um, uh, CSS is .css, and so on and so forth. PHP, instead of being .html or .css, is naturally going to be .php. Um, now, within a PHP document, uh, you can actually write HTML. As you can see, this right here is a index.php, and that'll take the replace. That'll take the place of index.html. So you don't need index.html if you're going to work with PHP. You just need index.php. And you can write all of your HTML as you would usually inside of that document. And you just have the addition of PHP every, you know, here and there. So, and you do still need those. Um, so, so yeah, that's the biggest difference is that, uh, you know, just the file types, that's very important. Um, and I think PHP is one of the only languages that you can write uh, HTML within a PHP file. You know, you can't do that in, in, uh, in JavaScript or in CSS.